Good morning, it's Monday, January 30th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, So Much Anger, and our scripture is Psalm 37. Stop being angry, turn from your rage, do not lose your temper, it only leads to harm. The story of Adam and Eve's sons, Cain and Abel, is such a familiar story. I believe many of us miss some very important lessons in that tragedy because we imagine there's nothing we haven't read before. It's a big mistake. Just consider how many Hollywood movies should footnote the Bible in their credits. Their storylines come right from the brothers' struggle, which revolved around money and sibling jealousy. And don't forget, the issue was church stewardship, bringing gifts of offering to worship God. And when Cain's disobedience and pride were confronted, he got angry, and he stayed angry while he plotted against his brother. How many families have been destroyed by anger's ugliness? Why so much anger? Well, I would be hard-pressed to recount all the ways anger evidences itself in our world. But let these words open the door in your memory. Let them relocate some images for you. Columbine, 9-11, Iraq, Jihad, Afghanistan, Ukraine. Stores at Christmas time, shoppers are trampled in the name of baby Jesus. Drunk drivers, IRS, insurance companies, COVID, insurance companies. Boxer Mike Tyson's teeth biting off Evander Holyfield's right ear. And last but not least, every show Jerry Springer ever made. Now, I'd like to be able to say our human family's anger problem is someone's fault. Blame it on the Republicans or Democrats. It would be convenient to blame society and the economy. My next-door neighbor... It would be really easy to simply say, well, it's my nature, I can't help how God made me. It would be easy, indeed. It would also be wrong. Anger is not in the genes. Anger resides in the spirit. Anger is a desire for revenge. With Cain, it was the fact that he brought an offering and God rejected it because it was not what God had required. Cain got even with God by striking God's creation. That's anger. When I was six or seven, my mother and aunt took the kids to the lake to swim. My younger cousin Gary spent half the afternoon building a magnificent sandcastle. I was envious and I wanted to play with it. He told me to get lost. Well, Mom got tired of our ruckus and told me to leave Gary alone. I looked at Gary like Cain looked at Abel. I left, but as I walked away, I stepped right on Gary's sandcastle. Anger is part of our existence because deep down in the spirit, if we want something and can't have it, or someone says something and we don't like it, or she's prettier than most and we can't stand it, we get angry and we want to get even. It's born of an arrogance that demands our own way and plots revenge if we don't get it. Anger is one human's attempt to punish another. For you today, understanding where anger begins is the first step in truly confessing it as sin. This becomes the first step towards leaving anger in the rearview mirror. Without understanding and repentance, there's no chance of forgiveness and healing. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.